Well, it's the crack of dawn for me. Beautiful sky. Look at that sky. We had rain last night. No, it's not going to rain today. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to be just beautiful. But anyway, we're headed to the Crocs Market, Virginia Beach Oceanfront, 19th and Cypress. We'll see how it goes. Well, the street's closed. It's about 10 minutes to 9. And they got a new thing they won't let them in till 9. Everybody's waiting. They just started that, I guess. I shot with some knives for the coffee shop next door. That's what I'm doing coming back. They ain't bad right there either. They like purple. And I do. Well, the first knife was a pocket knife. The second knife is a saboteur. It needs cleaning up bad. And sharpen it. I like it though. I like saboteurs. Okay. Well, it turned out okay, as you can see. Much better. You clean that thing up. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, things are wide open now. I'll be here till uh, noon. I live uh, on Shore Drive. Do you live in this area? I do. Make bumper cars. Hello. My chicken lady is wide open. Chicken, chicken and eggs. They got the father on the other side with the grill going. Let's go see what he's cooking up over there. Oh, man. Look at that. He got eggs today. He never had eggs before. Damn, I know. I wish I'd have got one of them. What are we selling here? Or either something I don't know about. The bristle pickles. Good gracious. There's the, there's the best of it. The fig. Which is like. I wasn't bad either. More chicken and eggs. The green cat. Juice bar. I am. Hi, man. You got your car? Oh. Oh, I don't. Neighborhood Harvest. The Butter Brothers. We're coming to the end. Damn, I didn't know there's another chicken place. Hello. It's a lot like bok choy. It's a relative of bok choy. Eggs gazelle. Do you believe seafood? I'm going back through. I, I enjoyed that. <coughs> it's Bowser. There's Buddy, the best of it. There's another one. Well, that's the first. I mean, I heard about them, but that's the first one I think I ever seen. That's the keto right there. It's got a pet chicken with her. A big old fat hen. <laughs> hey. This is Henrietta. Henrietta, huh? Hi, Henrietta. <laughs> she got some feet. Oh, really? To keep well, thank you. A nice old 110. Needs cleaning up and a new tip. Okay.
Well, I don't know where she went to. When she comes back, I'm going to take a picture of her, a video. I might have seen the uh, best looking woman I've ever seen in my life at one time. I see her way off in the distance, but I don't know if she's coming back this way or not. But it was truly breathtaking. I work here every other week. Yeah. Now, a week before last, when I was supposed to be here, raised, so I didn't work here. But I don't blame you. Because I need to remember to bring my knives. Okay. Okay. Nice Bowser. If he comes up from around the crowd, these are cool-looking taquitos. There he goes. How you doing today, my friend? What you got? Blood pressure's back to normal now. I got a fillet knife and a browning pocket knife. All polished up, all sharp, almost like new. Okay. Got a nice Victor Knox chef's knife and a Victor Knox paring knife and a. Upstar, Tristar, Chinese chef's knife. Okay. Now I got two more fish knives. And it's uh, 1130, so we got plenty of time. The fishing industry is picking up today. Well, I'm headed home. It was a fair day. And I had a lady came up about an hour ago and said, I'm going to try to get back with my knives. I have a lot of knives I need to get sharpened. I said, okay. Well, she never made it back. But 15 minutes ago, she texted me. Can you pick up my knives? I said, sure. She lives on the oceanfront at 45th Street in the land of Nala which is only four blocks to the right of course I'm on 24th Street so I gotta go north of a couple blocks and pick up her knives and I don't know exactly what she has got but you'll see them when I see them and we'll see what they look like stand by well I picked them up it's a bag of tin I don't know what they look like we'll look at them when we get home tin I like tin Tell will help my day considerably. Well, I'm truly fascinated by the way I get knives. Sometimes you get them in towels and bags and boxes. And this one's got them in Whole Foods grocery bags. Duct taped to the bag with, I mean, with duct tape. <laughs> I swear, I, never, I ain't complaining, don't get me wrong. It's just weird how they do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like she said. <laughs> Truly amazing. I hope everybody in Texas is safe. Rockport and down the coast, you guys. We're having corn on the grill, grilled onions, and two steaks. My son and myself. Boiled potatoes. And some broccoli, frozen broccoli, and leftover, two pieces of leftover corn from the other night. Jack, I told you, get out of that bowl. You eat that baby's food. Termite, you better get over there and eat your food. He'll have it cleaned out before you ever get over there. Jack, get away from there. We go check on our dinner. How's it coming? Mmm. I like it. Carcinogens and all. Termite. What are you doing, termite? You're the termite. Yes, you are. Termite. You're a big fat jack. Is it steak tonight, Jack? That's steak toughy. 
I want some steak. I got ready to sit in my chair. And I looked in the chair next to me, and there's a big fat man do sitting in there. Them big old eyes. <laughs>